Hello and welcome back to this video series on how to create Niancat in Adobe Flash CS5. And in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create Niancat's legs. Just to recap what I did in the last episode, I went over what Niancat is, and we learned about strokes and fills. Alright, since last episode focused on creating Niancat's head, we, can, we are going to focus this tutorial series on how to create Niancat's legs. We are going to create Niancat's legs by using the same method that we use to create the head. The reason why I use the rectangle tool to create the stroke and fills for Nyan Cat is like stated in the last episode, using the brush and the pencil tool will create a much harder task than just creating a rectangle that already has straight edges. With that stated, we can now go back down to our photo layer and reactivate our reference image. To reactivate our reference image, Drag your cursor back down to the photo layer, select the photo layer by using your left mouse button, and then go over to the red X underneath the eye icon and select the red X with your left mouse button. This will allow your reference image to be revealed on your main stage. It is true that the reference image now covers our recently made head, but that's okay for right now. Let's take a look at the legs of Nyan Cat. If you really inspect Nyan Cat's legs, you will see that Nyan Cat has two basic shapes for her legs. One is this oval going forward, more of a squashed oval, while the other one is an ovalish circle that is going diagonal in a top right to bottom left uh, direction. Since three of Nyan Cat's paws are a squashed oval formation, we will only make one outline for one of her front legs and then duplicate it to the to the other two legs. This one back leg that is going in a diagonal oval we will have to create manually. Before we can begin creating any of Nyan Cat's legs we need to go down and create a new layer. To create a new layer we need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of Adobe Flash CS5 we need to select this white box that has a smaller gradient type box in it. If you hover your cursor over this icon it should say new layer. Select this icon with your left mouse button. A new layer should appear in your timeline. Double click the name of this newly created layer by hitting it with your left mouse button. The layer will now let you change the name. Let's change the name of this layer to Nyan underscore feet. Once you have typed the name of your layer, hit enter on your keyboard this will set the layers name. Before we begin drawing make sure that your newly created layer that has been renamed Nyan Feet is the top layer on your timeline. If it's not the top layer of your timeline go down to the layer select it with your left mouse button and hold down and drag up on your timeline until the layer is reaches the very top and release your left mouse button. I will demonstrate it with the Nyan head layer. Do not do this. So I selected the layer. I'm holding down my left mouse button. And you can see this black bar with a white circle at the top. This means that it's going to move Nyan head layer all the way to the top. If I moved it down here, you can see the marking is in between Nyan feet and the layer photo. This means that the Nyan head layer will be placed in between the Nyan feet and the photo layer. As you can see over here on the stage, the Nyan Cat head that we created will be placed above the head on the reference image. This is good so that we can see our previously made head. Since we don't want to make any more changes to this Nyan Cat head layer, go back down to your timeline and select the Nyan underscore head layer. And then go over to the second dot of that layer that is underneath this padlock icon and select the second dot with your left mouse button. As you can see up here on the stage, our Nyan Cat head drawing has been unselected. This is because that no more changes can be made to this Nyan underscore head layer. However, like our reference image, we can still hide our newly created head as well as our reference image by hitting these, the first black dot that is underneath the eyeball icon with our left mouse button.
If you wish, you could hide the head layer, but I'm going to leave it open. Make sure you leave the reference image open, though. All right, now go down to your timeline again and select the nine underscore feet layer with your left mouse button. Make sure it's selected. You know a layer is selected if this blue transparency box forms around the layer's name. All right, now let's go over to our toolbar and select the zoom tool. If you want, you can use the hotkey Z to select the zoom tool, but I'm gonna go over manually and select it. With our zoom tool, go over to the stage and select the middle in between the cat's legs with your left mouse button. Adobe Flash CS5 will now zoom in towards the bottom of Nyan Cat. Since Nyan Cat has a black stroke for its legs, no matter which type of leg it is, we will need to change both our fill and our stroke. To change our fill and our stroke, we need to go back over to the toolbar, select our selection tool, and then go down to the stroke box that is underneath the pencil tool icon and select it with our left mouse button. A smaller pop-up menu with multiple colors will appear. We need to choose the black color that is in the top left hand corner of the smaller box with multiple colors. We need to do the same thing but this time with our fill. The fill box is located underneath the bucket icon. Select the fill box with your left mouse button. And again, select the black color that is in the top left hand corner of the colors box. Alright, now our stroke and our fill have been set to black. Go up in the toolbar and select the rectangle tool. You can also select the rectangle tool by hitting R on your keyboard. With our tools ready, we can begin outlining Nyan Cat's legs. I'm going to trace this far left leg, since this is the only leg that is different from the other three legs. All right, I'm going to start on this far long stroke. Remember to always start in the top left hand corner when tracing a rectangle. This will give you more of an accurate control over the rectangle. Also remember if you want to continue to zoom in closer, go back over to your toolbar and select the zoom tool. Then go over to the stage and zoom in by clicking the left mouse button by the area that you wish to be zoomed in. However, if you do this, you need to go back over to your toolbar and select the rectangle tool again. You shouldn't need to change the fill or the stroke color. I think this magnification is pretty decent for me, so I'm going to stay right here. However, if you need to zoom in or out, please feel free to do so. You may want to pause the video. All right, let's begin tracing our Nyan cat's leg. All right, so I'm going to start in the top left-hand corner with my rectangle tool and drag down to the bottom right-hand corner. A black box should appear over Nyan Cat's leg where we just traced. Continue doing this until the stroke of this leg is completely finished. Do not start the stroke since it's part of Nyan Cat's Pop-Tart body. That will be another part of this tutorial series. Now go back down to the same leg and continue filling in the strokes. Remember to try to make your rectangle precise and straight. As you can see here, I missed a little bit. Remember that you can always use Control Z, or if you're on an Apple, Command Z, to redo your previous steps. Continue using Command or Control Z and the rectangle tool until your stroke is completely finished. Alright, our stroke is completely finished for this leg. I'm going to hide our reference image so that I can see if all my lines completely match up. To hide the reference image, go back down to your timeline and select the first black dot underneath the eye icon. This will hide the reference image. Alright, that stroke looks pretty good to me. Let's continue on with the fill. I'm going to reactivate our reference image by going down to our timeline and clicking the black dot underneath the photo layer again. Your reference image should appear. Now let's do the fill for this back leg. Since this back leg is a grayish color, we need to go back over and change our fill and strokes to this grayish color. Go over to your toolbar and underneath the fill box, select it with your left mouse button, but this time, go over to your stage and select a gray area of Nyan Cat's leg. This will allow the color picker in Adobe Flash CS5 
to use the same exact color that was originally used in our reference image. Select the color with your left mouse button. Do the same step for the fill box. Select the fill box with your left mouse button, then take your cursor and go over approximately to the same area of Nyan Cat's leg and select it with your left mouse button. Both your stroke and your fill should be about the same color in their boxes. With your rectangle tool still selected, go back over to the fill area of Nyan Cat's leg and select the top left hand corner with your left mouse button. Now select the top left hand corner of the fill area for Nyan Cat's back leg. Now drag your cursor while holding your left mouse button down to the bottom right hand corner of Nyan Cat's leg and release your left mouse button once you've reached the bottom right hand corner. A grayish box should appear over the fill of the reference image. Remember that you can always hide the photo layer to double check. You can see here that I missed a little. So I'm going to use Control Z to reactivate my reference image and then Control Z again to undo this grayish box. I'm going to try it once and more. But this time I'm going to drag more to the right. Now I'm going to hide our, my reference image again. And this looks pretty precise compared to the last one. Since I'm happy with this leg, I'm going to continue on to the other three legs. Like stated at the beginning of the tutorial, the two front legs and the back left leg are all the same shape. So we only need to model this once and then duplicate it for the other two legs. So we'll only be drawing this back left leg and then duplicating it to these two front legs. So like for our back right leg, the stroke is going to need to be black and our fill is going to need to be a darkish gray. Since we have our fill and our stroke to this darkish gray, we can start by just doing the fill of the leg instead of changing back to black and then back to the same colored gray. So go over to the toolbar and just make sure that your rectangle tool is selected. If your rectangle tool is selected, go back over to the stage with your cursor and select the top left hand corner of the fill of one of the first three legs and draw out the fill of that leg. With our fill filled in, we can go over to the fill box and select it with our left mouse button and then go in the top left hand corner and select a black color. Do the same thing for the fill color. Select the fill box by hitting the left mouse button and then go over to the top left hand corner and select a black color. Both your fill and your stroke should be a black color. With your rectangle tool still selected, go over to your stroke of that same leg that you already made the fill and, and start creating the strokes. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that leg. Now I'm ready to duplicate it. To duplicate an object, go over to your toolbar and select the selection tool. You can also use the hotkey V to select the selection tool. With the selection tool selected, go over to the stage and select the top left hand corner around that is near your area that you wish to select. Then drag down your cursor to the bottom right hand corner of your mouse pad or trackpad to box in the area that you wish to duplicate. The selected object should now turn into a polka dotted white pattern. This means that anything in that polka dotted white pattern is selected. With the part of Nyan Cat's leg that we wish to duplicate selected, we can now hit Command D, or if you're on a PC, Control D, to duplicate that object. You can see here that an identical object is placed over the originally duplicated object. With your selection tool, click and drag that duplicated object by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it off to the side of the stage. It doesn't matter where you place it right now, just make sure that it's separated and not covering the originally created leg. Do these steps one more time. You don't have to select the original leg since this duplicate is already selected. All you have to do is hit Command D or Control D to duplicate it again. Now the third leg has been created. 
with your selection tool and your cursor over the selected object, hold down the left mouse button and drag this leg off to the side. Alright, I know they're not perfectly lined up, but we'll do that right now. Before we align our legs, you can see that this duplicate has some duplicate problems. So with your selection tool, select the white area of your stage to unselect everything. These legs all look good, except this one just had some duplicate issues. So all we have to do is just redraw the fill of this stroke. You can select it, the fill with your left mouse button to select it, and then drag it down with your cursor. But it comes up with more issues. If you wish to zoom in and fix it this way, then please feel free. But you may want to pause the video since I'm just going to draw a new fill to cover up this old fill. So I'll hit Control Z to get back to the originally duplicated fill. Alright, let's go back over to our toolbar and select the rectangle tool and go over to our problem foot and redraw the fill. Now our three legs are identical. We can now focus arranging the legs equal to that of the reference image. In order to do that though, we need to select each leg and then reactivate our photo image and then align it to the exact Nyan Cat legs in the reference image. Well we know these back two legs are lined up identically since these are the ones that we traced from the original reference image. It is these two front legs that we need to reline up. Therefore go up to the toolbar and select the selection tool. Go back down to one leg and select the left white area to that leg and drag down until the box the cursor makes completely covers one leg of Nyan Cat and release the left mouse button. Now go back down to the timeline and reactivate the photo layer. You can see here that is our newly created foot and over here is the reference image foot. So we need to reactivate our selection tool since our zoom tool has been selected. Select the newly created foot with the left mouse button. While holding down our left mouse button, drag our cursor over to the area of the foot. We first need to select everything in the front foot. So go up to your toolbar and make sure that your selection tool has been selected or hit V on your keyboard to select the selection tool. Now go over to your stage and click the top left hand corner right above the front foot and drag to the bottom right of your mouse pad or trackpad until the front foot is completely covered and is the only thing that's covered by the box drawn out from the cursor and release the left mouse button. The front foot should now gain that checkered patterned white dot look. This means that everything in the front foot has been selected. Now go back down to your timeline and reactivate the photo layer by selecting the red X that is underneath the eye icon with your left mouse button. Your reference image should now appear. With your selection tool still selected, go back down to the stage and hold down the left mouse button on the front foot. Now drag the front foot with your cursor over to the front of Nyan Cat's first leg. The front foot should now cover Nyan Cat's front foot and release the left mouse button. You can see here that the front foot of Nyan Cat in the reference image has been covered by our newly created front foot. Just like the reference image, all of Nyan Cat's newly created feet are covering the original feet and they have all been created with the correct stroke and fill colors. Just to double check to see if everything's okay, I'll hide the reference image so that we can see both the Nyan Cat's head and feet. I'll unselect this one leg. That looks pretty good. Since our feet look pretty good, that concludes part two of how to create Nyan Cat in Adobe Flash CS5.